going on kids of all ages, players of the 1-6 community, and uh, statue lovers, game lovers, and all that good stuff that we collect in this awesome community of collectors. Alright, so here's the stand for a Dread figure, if you got yours from Arts Figures. Um, this would be a nice piece to accompany your, your figure. So it's made by Toys Box. I got this on eBay. Uh, that's the guy that I got it from on eBay. Very nice, quick, one week, it was here. And <clears throat> this was actually, I found, I found this out on, on Facebook, which is pretty cool. This is the packaging, this is the inside. And of course, you're gonna get your instruction manual. Very easy. He recommends that you give him, you know, some good ratings because he tries his best to give you the best packaging and uh, sends it out as fast as possible. So if you do uh, decide to buy it from this individual, uh, do so. Because I've bought plenty of stuff from him, so he's pretty cool. And um, so what we have here in the box, you got your screws, you got your stand, pretty cool it's an actually it's in a plastic clear sleeve slides out and there's some plastic on it but I'm gonna do some cutscenes so I'm not gonna go through all this stuff so it's an acrylic stand here you got your plate uh, you got the yellow and I'll show you what, the, what that means so it'll, it brings out the, uh, the shield you'll see the color and then you'll see the yellow on it in the bottom of the shield and we're gonna go through this and uh, in a second or two come back with the cutscenes and show you how this looks I don't have my figure yet because there's still that Brian too too many figures home I have to pick it up I just haven't had time to uh, get out to him but uh, we'll do this now Hey guys, so I finally took all the, uh, the protection, the paper that was uh, protecting the acrylic uh, pieces, and I'm finally to my last piece. And I can tell you, this is very professionally done. I mean, this actually beats <laughs> like regular hot toy stands with the little decals. I mean, this is really fucking cool. Um, I seen somebody on Facebook. Uh, paint that there's red and uh, I mean that's impressive so I mean I'm not knocking the hot toy stands I mean that's cool and everything you know but I mean this is a lot better I, I think so in my opinion and uh, look at that it's fucking awesome now the underside of this is a little pain in the ass to take out all the little paper but I'm leaving mine so it doesn't matter to me that's that's what I want <laughs> And I match up the holes here, and we're gonna check it out. Do it together. Pretty cool, man. I'm pretty cool. Very cool. I'm. It's like the best 30 bucks I spent in a long time. Really nice. I'm impressed. Now, um, my dreads are at Brian's house, and I'm gonna try to pick them up today if I can. And I can't wait. I know one of them has the battle damage one that I had done by him. Uh, I know it has, um, I know he, he made a display stand for it, so I'm not, that's not going to be touched, I'm going to leave it just the way it is. I'm so excited to get that home. Let me lower this music a little bit. And uh, can't wait for that to come in, that's going to be so impressive. He also did the uh, Lobo for me which I'm a huge Lobo fan and uh, can't wait to see that one in person that's going to be fantastic I think uh, from the video that I've seen and the pictures that he sent me it looks uh, uh, pretty amazing um, so what do you guys talk what do you guys think about all the uh, hot toy figures that are coming out man I mean like we're being flooded bombarded first it was like all Iron Man first it was Batman then the Iron Man stuff and then it's just like a, re a relentless bombardment of uh, new figures coming out, you know. 
Uh, are you guys into statues? I'm getting into statues. I can't believe it. I'm getting into some statues. I want some Superman stuff. Uh, I'm really excited about that. I got some customs coming in, which I'm totally uh, for it. I think I didn't thread it in correctly. I'm off here. It's just a little bit of pain. Let's see if I get the threading going correctly. do is we move on to the next one just to see yeah this is pretty good um, I was thinking about getting the Batman armory but you know what I, I just have so much Batman stuff that I don't think I can take an I, I can't do another armory I mean I can't do an armory just just don't have room for it anymore and then he's not like my favorite hero so I, I mean I have like multiples of Matt, Batman since the sonar version so I'm like eh, I don't know more Christian Bale shit you know give me something new give me a new character of Christian Bale at least just trying to force this into the whole day so hold on one second a little off here don't know why it's not going in that way let's try this one yeah but, you know, we'll see. I'll see. I'd probably give in and get the armory. It looks very cool. That's three of them. Let's see the next one. Of course, it's always a problem. Uh, so what do we do? We play with the hole a little bit. Try to see if we get it aligned. Come back. Trying to work as fast as possible, guys, because I just want you to see the end results. And uh, I don't want to keep you too long. I know you guys get bored. You know? And of course, this one looks way off a little bit. I'm going to have to bring my Dremel. Oh, nope, there it is. That fit it. Let's go the right way here. There we go. Boom. So this guy did a nice job on this. Um, you know, this is done professionally. This is machine, machine done. This is it's freaking awesome. It's like my life. I can't screw it. <laughs> So anyway, this is the uh, Dread Stand, and it is super impressive. I'm going to play with that later. Here's your stand. Finally, here it is. Here's a figure to put them on. Oh, this one has one already. Take that out. Take a look. Ah, it's just something I have in the collection there. Put grenades everywhere. That's how it looks, man. That looks pretty cool. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Um, if you're going to get it or not. And uh, the guy is pretty, uh, pretty reasonable. He'll probably be going up later on. I mean, I, I caught it for almost 30, so sorry about that. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm stoked. And he also does, I think he's the one that does the gangsters the, for the damn toys. Uh, that, that looks pretty impressive. Uh, that stand actually has, uh, I think, a characterization. Oh, fuck. It never goes right. Let's see. Maybe I have to play with it. Anyway, you know how I say it. I know you don't like me, but you like my style. Peace. I did it. Just grab a nose plier, squeeze really tight at the end of the back, and I had to retread it by turning this really hard. So there it is. There's the finished uh, dread stand for Yards figure. I do highly recommend you pick one up, and of course, you could actually paint it. You know, it could up, you paint the bottom you know, whatever color you want. 
or you can paint the actual template of the dread and it looks pretty badass. Again, I know you don't like me, but you like my style.